Welcome back to Horse Industry, of course, a way of life in Kentucky. And this weekend kicks off one of the biggest horse sales of the year, the November sale at Lexington's Phasic Tipton. Well, even if you're not in the horse business, it's an electric atmosphere to witness, to see horses that might be the next big star, you know, the next mm -hmm. Justify or American Pharaoh. And also you get to see the millions, and we mean millions of dollars this brings into the local economy. So what exactly is the November sale? Lee and I got the inside scoop. Check it out. We'll start off on Sunday with a sale that has the highest average of any thoroughbred sale in the world. We have about uh, 250 horses in the catalog and at the end of the day, we'll end up selling about $70 million worth plus of horses and they'll average over $600,000 here. It does have an economic impact on the entire Commonwealth. So these numbers that you're touting are is good for everybody. It's wonderful for everybody. I don't think that anybody outside the industry appreciates the scale of it. Okay, so we have weanlings, which for folks that are, that's those young. Those are delicious. Have you had those? I Pizza had. Hut sells the weanlings, and they're here in basic tip. Not the winglings, oh. the weanlings. Oh. Oh, when we were, they've been okay. weaned off their mother, oh. you might call them babies. The Breeders' Cup takes place over at Churchill Downs on Friday and Saturday. There are 10 runners from the Breeders' Cup getting in trucks and coming here to be offered for sale. We sold uh, Songbird last year and she sold for $9.5 million and was the, one of the highest priced thoroughbreds of the year. Certainly in North America she was the highest. And then the You're in the room when this is happening by the way? You're there watching this, right? I was there with the hair standing up on the back of my neck. Yeah. Uh, was she, there an audible gasp as this yes. is? Yeah. I mean, not only were there audible gasps, but there was a huge round of applause. We're buying you a horse. You guys take a Chevron card here at we, we take all sorts of credit cards for the likes of you two. You're in there, you want a horse, what do you do? Lee will have a little more problem than you would, right. because you'll get the immediate attention of our bid spotters. Uh, and you can wink at them, they always enjoy that. Oh. Uh, you can wave your hand at them, do a little finger thing, you can tell them, oh, oh excuse me, you, you could do that you too. Put a bid in. <laughs> You could touch your Sold. ear. <laughs> Here's the, my method. Hold this microphone. Here's what I'm Here we go. Doing. This is what he's going to do. That's the one. Sometimes we take indications that they don't even make. The guy sneezes. <laughs> You've won! You know, he's got to call his wife, honey. I I had flatulence, but here's the good news. <laughs> Some of them like to hide away, and they go upstairs and stand around the corner in the dark and just occasionally hold their hand out, and I hope that one of you will be watching because if you're going to buy one of these horses, you ought to be here. Yeah. You see a man in a mesh tank top in the shadows, it'll be Lee. Eating in a, from an O'Charlie's takeout box. Eating from yeah. an O'Charlie's takeout box. <laughs> Which is every Saturday night. For me. So classic. It's mesh tank tops. Right? <laughs> That's a sad statement on life, isn't it? it? Is. But That's what I do at the club, you know. We had a great day at Phasic Tipton. Thanks to Terrence for giving us the show around there. For more information, visit PhasicTipton.com. Very cool. And coming up here, we are moving, we are shaking, and we are mixing in celebration of the Breeders' Cup. Makers Mark is here. We're going to talk to him when we come right back.